How's that? Sounding better? Excellent. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we'll aim, to f we'll aim to finish around about nine o'clock this evening. We are recording this evening's session as well, so loud cheering at various occasions, at various points will be completely fine. Um, what I'd also like to say is just a few words of introduction um, in terms of why Dr. Chintamani is here. Um, I think, first of all, we're very honoured to have you this evening on a special day, which is Ram Navami. So the birthday of Ram after nine days of Mother Divine. So that adds to the, the honour in many ways. Um, some of us were in Hyderabad in January of this year when there was a course held uniquely, actually, in the history of our organisation for 10,000 Siddhas from around the world. Many, of course, from India itself, including many students. And one of the interesting features of that course were the wide range of spiritual luminaries and heads of organisations um, <clears throat> associated with developing moral consciousness on stage with uh, Dr. Tony Nader, Maharaja, and also giving video messages as well. I think it's the first time I've ever, certainly in, in our organisation, seen such an assemblage of like-minded people together. And I think it has catalyzed a lot of change already. So you probably, mo most of you will know that um, about a month ago, three weeks I think ago, there was a conference held in the same facility in Hyderabad, hosted by Daji, who is the leader of the heartfulness movement, whose ashram it was, uh, sponsored by the Indian government. And that was attended by an order of magnitude more leaders of sp different spiritual groups and so on, including many of, the, many of the leaders who had come to our own event in January. And I think this is very interesting because it seems to me that we're entering a time where world events looking chaotic on the outside are demanding a response from the inside, those who have knowledge of the inside level of life. And what is it that unites all these various disparate organizations? Well, one phrase from the Vedic tradition is Vasudev Kutumbakam, the world is my family. And also the understanding that consciousness is the basis of everything. Consciousness is primary, is the primary reality, which of course is part of the Vedantic philosophy, which underpinned Maharshi's Vedic science and the teaching that he, that he brought to us. And a couple of things that have happened just very recently, which kind of bear substance to that, which I think also are very promising. One was last, I think it was last week, um, the leader of the Sai Baba organization was an MIU receiving an honorary doctorate in world peace from Maharaja. And that was also partly because he has uh, set about establishing a group of 15,000 people to learn TM and to build up a group of 10,000 Siddhas in India, which is you know, a tremendous breakthrough piece of news. Another piece of news that just came today is that um, the leader of the heartfulness movement, Daji, um, <clears throat> is coming to London in May, and he's holding, holding an event in the O2 arena, which is the biggest public arena in the UK, as far as I know. And he's, he's invited um, members and um, uh, meditators of all practices to assemble there in the same sort of cause. And it just struck me, um, thinking about what to say in advance of, of properly introducing our guest tonight, that this is all very encouraging. It's not mainstream news, of course, but for those of us who've been involved in the pursuit of developing consciousness for so many years, decades even, <laughs> 40 years, for over 40 years, we've been meditating together in this area. Um, it just struck me that it's, there's something rather special going on, perhaps under the radar, and hopefully it presages some very major changes in the way um, positivity and, and the world uh, starts to reform in, uh, in a new era of more enlightenment. So a few words um, just to say why, why do we have Dr. Chintamani Yogi and his nephew with us tonight. The, the contact really came through Kingsley Brooks, who is the Raja from Nepal, and his wife Leslie, um, who I think you've, you've known for quite some time now, um, working on various projects. And um, Guruji has been visiting uh, the UK for about three weeks now. He's got a few more days to go, um, dotting around quite a bit. 
been to Nottingham, where he met Julianne Christou, a TM teacher there. Been to Newcastle, where he met Everlink. Uh, Edinburgh, where he visited the Peace Palace, soon to be inaugurated, David Ray. Uh, over to Glasgow, Angela. And many of our teachers who've been local to where some of these satsangs have been held, held have been able to attend them as well. And that's been a, a source of mutual enjoyment, even bliss, actually. Um, so this is the first time that you've been able to visit and actually enjoy a meeting on our own premises, which I think is a nice way to get you know finish your finish your visit. So it's there's quite a long list of achievements of our guests, and I'm going to just uh, read out a few that uh, have come to mind. Um, Dr. Chintamani Yogi is a great scholar. He's a thinker spiritual master, an educationist and a peace activist. He has founded and leads several organizations in Nepal, all with a strong and conscious commitment to interfaith ideals. In particular, he is a founding principal of Hindu Vidya Peeth school movement consisting of three schools. And this afternoon, he had the pleasure of visiting with Ian Birnbaum and Lisa Edwards, both of whom are here with us this evening visiting our own school here in Skelmersdale, both the lower and the upper schools, and then I think a very lively, enjoyable meeting with some of the teachers uh, before leaving. The, te the children at these schools are encouraged to develop human virtues such as peace, harmony and love in the form of international brotherhood. He's also established Shanti Siva Ashram, whose objectives are to promote peace and spirituality at every level of society to help poor and disadvantaged children, women, and senior citizens. In addition, he founded the Youth Society for Peace, supporting young people in understanding the values of peace, tolerance, and selfless service, and various other community programs as well. Likewise, he's also actively associated with many international organizations, such as in the UK. So um, he's been to the UK on two previous occasions the USA and Australia. And these include the Global Network of Religions for Children, United Religions Initiative, etc. He travels frequently to spread the message of values-based education, peace education, interfaith, humanity, and spirituality all around the world. And has been running special programs uh, internationally for over the last two decades for the promotion of spirituality, humanity, and community. He's written several books and composed various songs. So I've asked him if he might sing some bhajans for us before we finish this evening. And he's also associated with many national and international <coughs> universities. That includes Oxford University in the UK. Um, as, as a guest speaker for peace development, conflict management, intercultural understanding, and values-based education. He and his brother, uh, Bolan, have taken up the, took up the practice of TM uh, some time ago, and they've introduced uh, the technique to, uh, to, student, uh, to the students at the schools. And uh, as we know, TM doesn't require a specific belief. That's one of the main things that I think might have astonished many people when Maharshi first started teaching. It's not a question of believing even that the technique's going to work. It's only enough to be able to learn the technique in its effortless nature and then just to have uh, understanding about what the mechanics of the experience actually are. And of course, TM is the most widely scientifically validated technique of meditation with proven benefits in mental relaxation and in particular creating peace and cohesion in society at large. So without more ado, I'd like to very much welcome and I hope you all join me in welcoming our guest this evening. Please, I'm traveling 
trying to be fast like British. So going many places, weather change, many change, so sometimes slightly allergy. Hope you don't mind. Om Namo join me. Om Namo Namaha Om Namo Namaha Om Namo Namaha Om Namo Nama Namo Nama Namo Nama Namaste Namaste <coughs> It's from the Vedas. Shruti Gyana Gamya Namaste Namaste Tapo Yoga Gamya Namaste Namaste Vibho Vishwamurte Namaste Namaste Chidananda Murti Namaste Namaste Chidananda Murti Please join me Namaste Namaste Chidananda Murti Namaste Namaste Chidananda Murti Namaste Namaste Chidananda Murti Namaste Namaste Chidananda Murti Namaste Namaste Chidananda Murti. Gramji <coughs> read out a long paper. Fine. <laughs> but actually, what I do may not be more important. But who am I? What you do, what I do, what we do, more than that, who am I? Namaste, Namaste, Chidananda Murti. I am that Sat, I am that Chit, I am that Ananda, no matter what the body is, what the name is, what the size, what the age, what the frame, all illusion, but only inside that Sat, that Chit, that Ananda, that Ananda. My body is going through cold and cough, but Ananda. <laughs> I am changing my bed every day in England, not getting good sleep. My body is slightly going through the trouble, but again, Ananda, only Ananda. That's me, that's you, we all are same. Tat Tomasi. 
ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಆನಂದ ತ್ವಮಸಿ ಸೊ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇಂಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ವೆದರ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೆಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಮೋರ್ ವಿಂಟರ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇಂಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ರೇನ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ರೇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋ ಆನಂದ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸತ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಚಿತ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆನಂದ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆನಂದ 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 ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆನಂದ ಆಲ್ ಆನಂದ 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 ನಮಸ್ತೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಚಿದಾನಂದ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಓ ಗ್ರಾಹಂ ಜೀ ನಮಸ್ತೆ Henry ji <laughs> please come forward i love to see this beautiful smile very closely please oh henry ji <laughs> namaste i want to pay my respect to my friends in nepal dr kingsley raja kingsley namaste Dr. Leslie, Namaste. My friends, look around. Namaste, Namaste, Chidananda Murthy. Namaste, Namaste, Chidananda Murthy. when you can't go inside feel that unified feel honor that reality honor that absoluteness you are stuck on the way you are driving car is going up on the way that is stopped you have gear problem you understand car is going up over the hill and that time something goes wrong you can't change the gear what will happen likewise you are going up and up who are stuck on the way because of ego all around the body ego i am beautiful i am handsome all around the mind i am the richest one i am the most clever one smartest one inside inside no one is rich no one is poor because you and me sat chit ananda why not go further why to stop the car on the way and complain conflict fighting being dissatisfied let's go further beauty is inside sat chit I am Ananda, you are Ananda. I am that Sat, you are that Sat. I am that Chit, you are that Chit. Everything Chit. Everything Conscious. Everything Brahma. Sarvam Khaludam Brahma. Neha Nana Asti Kinsana. What is this universe after? only that brahman what is this universe only that consciousness atma khalu viswa moolam atma khalu viswa moolam till i am connected with my body with my mind with my intellect i am connected with my ego i am connected with my different types of problems all these things going further aham brahmasmi four vedas and four main statements rigveda yajurveda samveda atharvaveda among those four vedas 
each Vedas have their own main statements among those, one of the statements. Aham Brahma Asmi. I am that infinite one. I am that absolute one. I am that conscious one. I am that divine one. I am only that. Aham Brahma Asmi. When I look at the mirror, that time also. Aham. Don't look at the face. No eye threading, no topi. In the mirror also, aham, brahma, asmi. But here, all wise people, all great people, <coughs> devotees of Maharshi, why should they need mirror? Close the eyes. Aham, brahma, asmi. I am that Brahma, I am that divine one, I am that absolute one, nothing can divide me, destroy me, damage me, I am that infinite one, Aham Brahma Asmi. Why should I complain? What should I complain? Whom should I complain? Aham Brahma Asmi, I am that Brahma. And one who can understand it, honor it, practice it, becomes Maharshi. One who can understand it, honor it, practice it, I am that, becomes Sankaracharya. I was in Thailand around six months ago. My friends, Dr. Kingsley and Leslie, they all were with me. We had a tour together in Thailand. And you all know about the Maharshi movement in Thailand. I was very happy, very impressed. And then all of a sudden, a song appeared. Jaya Guru Dev. Jaya Guru Dev. Jai 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 Guru Dev. Traveling around Thailand, going to Chantapuri, all the Maharshi centers. Jai Guru Dev. Jai Guru Dev. Jai 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 Guru Dev. Bhava Tita Chit Swarupa Dhyana Rupa Mangala Rupa Jaya Guru Dev Jaya Guru Dev Jaya 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 Guru Dev Beda posaka dharma rakshaka Veda posaka dharma rakshaka Vishwa kalyana manava preraka Jaya Guru Dev Jaya Guru Dev Jai 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 Guru Dev Jai 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 Guru Dev Coming in this place, meeting all. Such a great joy. What should I speak today? Do I really need to speak? Don't you feel just by being in the room, in this hall, in this dome, Maharshi is speaking. Speechless communication. Don't you feel Sankaracharya is speaking. Speechless communication. And many other sages, many other masters, all are present here. 
And again, one more thing. Listening Maharshi, listening Sankaracharya, listening the masters, listening our rishis, that means finally, that means finally, listening ourselves. That means finally listening ourselves. They all become means. They all become guide. They all become motivation, inspiration. Finally, only listening ourselves. That's why the Vedas say, Atma Vare Drashtabhya Srotabhya Mantabhya Nididhyasitabhya Please observe yourself. Listen yourself. Analyze yourself. Realize yourself. Following Maharshi, following Sankaracharya, following great masters of the world, following all our siddhas, all our rishis, all our Maharshis, that means finally following our own inner voice. That means finally following our own divine insight. Just being with ourself. Self-observation. Self-conversation. Self-realization. That's why the Bhagavad Gita says, Ishwara Sarva Bhutanam Hirde Serjuna Tishthati Brahmayan Sarva Bhutani Yantra Rudhani Mayaya God dwells inside you, in your heart. Hirde Arjuna Tishthati. O Arjuna, why are you wandering around? O Arjuna, why are you confused? God dwells in you. So in this modern materialistic world, crazy world, the way we become busy, we forget to listen ourselves. But when I come and meet people like you all, wow, you people are great examples for this world. I wish all the people from England could come here, spend a few hours with you all. All my Nepali brothers and sisters who are living in England, they could come here and spend a few hours with you all. Anyone who will come inside in this dome doesn't need any translation, doesn't need any speech, doesn't need any kind of conversation, doesn't need any kind of teaching or preaching, but only feeling, but only awakening, but only feeling. This is the place. I was in Mauritius. I want to remind one more name. Dr. Michael. Raja Dr. Michael. <coughs> I think now it is nearly one year in Mauritius. Dr. Michael and Peggy. It was a very good time. We spent around four days in Mauritius. That time a very powerful song came, appeared. Anandam Shiva, 
ಆನಂದಂ ಆನಂದಂ ಶಿವ ಆನಂದಂ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಆನಂದಂ ಶಿವ ಆನಂದಂ ಆನಂದಂ ಶಿವ ಆನಂದಂ ಯೋಗಾನಂದಂ ಆನಂದಂ ಧ್ಯಾನಂದಂ ಆನಂದಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಂದಂ ಆನಂದಂ ಜ್ಞಾನಂದಂ ಆನಂದಂ ಆನಂದಂ ಶಿವ ಆನಂದಂ ಆನಂದಂ ಶಿವ ಆನಂದಂ ಆನಂದಂ ಶಿವ ಆನಂದಂ ಆನಂದಂ ಶಿವ ಆನಂದಂ ಮೈ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸೇಜ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಎಲ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ದ್ವೇತ ಒನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಯೂಟ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅದ್ವೇತ ನನ್ ಡ್ಯುಯಲಿಸಮ್ ಲುಕ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅದ್ವೇತ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎಪನ್ಸ್ ಆನಂದಂ ಶಿವ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಫೈಟ್ ಬೈ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಮಿರರ್ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಸೌಟ್ ವೈಲ್ ಆರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಮಿರರ್ ಹೇ ಯು ಆನಂದಂ ಅದ್ವೇತ ಆನಂದಂ ಶಿವ ಆನಂದಂ ಆನಂದಂ ಶಿವ ಆನಂದಂ ಮಂಗಲಾನಂದಂ ಆನಂದಂ ಸಹಜಾನಂದಂ ಆನಂದಂ ಸರ್ವಾನಂದಂ ಆನಂದಂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಂ ಆನಂದಂ ಮೈ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪಾಸ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಫೈನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೆಂಡ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ವೆರಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸಿವ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಫೈನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಬಟ್ ಬಟ್ no matter until you don't make your own password of life your device this poor device this poor device nonsense device has a password <laughs> one who doesn't have password of life anandam shiva please please make your password of life on time no excuse don't say you know just now my son got married you know recently i got new house you know i'm just ret- recently retired you know i'm just moved no excuse you must have your own password of life and when you will have your own password of life the vedas say vedah metam purusham mahantam aditya varanam tamasah parastat one day you will stand over the road and you will say yes i know the truth hey liverpool manchester what is this we gone england <laughs> vedah metam i know that absolute one that is what beautiful great glamorous divine suppose thousands of suns are shining over the sky he is beyond that aditya varanam anandam shiva energy anandam anandam shiva anandam 
आनंदम शिव आनंदम आनंदम प्लीज ज्वाइन अस आनंदम शिव आनंदम शिव आनंदम सर्वानंदम आनंदम सिद्धानंदम आनंदम बुद्धानंदम आनंदम नित्यानंदम आनंदम आनंदम शिवा आनंदम आनंदम शिवा आनंदम टुडे आई वाज फॉर्च्यूनेट टू विजिट वन ऑफ द बेस्ट स्कूल्स महर्षि स्कूल लिसा जी एन जी फ्यू टीचर्स आई वाज सेइंग देयर द वे यू हैव बिकम बिजी द वे यू आर रनिंग वे आर रनिंग वे आर रनिंग बिकॉज एवरी वन इज रनिंग We are running because everyone is running. Many of us don't know oh, why am I running actually. Just running. Why am I running? My friends, if you ask how, that is science. Question of how, that will connect you with the science. But question of why, question of why, that will connect you with philosophy, with your spirituality. And many people in this modern world don't have that enough courage to ask why. Why am I here? Why am I here? Why? Build up that kind of courage. is that kind of energy that kind of confidence even one day while you are breathing you ask why am i breathing why am i breathing but many people are lost only what only how main question why please that will take us higher and higher the highest flight of philosophy and spirituality i'm here for last nearly now one month now five days left then back to nepal my nephew samrat here first time visiting england but i have been a couple of times many of my nepali friends and other friends they invite me here they organize some programs so i can say i am in that way i am fortunate one so every time i am travelling we came here today from london making all the travel plan again day after tomorrow going to medstone again another travel plan we are busy with only travel plan but we can't make our life's plan but with the blessing of gurus blessing of parents i somehow decided this is what my life map not only travel map at the age of 21 i completed my masters degree in sanskrit language philosophy then i decided no marriage no money but now as i travel that's a mobile is okay <laughs> no marriage no mobile at the age of 
I was born in the western part of Nepal. It's all blessing of parents. Father gave us the seed of wisdom, Jnana Yoga. Mother, another seed. Seed of Bhakti Yoga. Myself and my elder brother Bholaji, his father, we decided the journey further, Karma Yoga. Seva, selfless service, Niskam Seva. Not only my and my elder brother, even all brothers and sisters, though they are married, though they have their family life, some responsibilities, some challenges. So anyway, I have been living in Kathmandu, capital city, for the last around 40 years. Actually born in the village, western part of Nepal, near Lumbini, the birthplace of Lord Buddha. And after coming to Kathmandu, Actually, I came to Kathmandu to make money, to become famous, to support family. But Kathmandu, capital city, city of Pasupatinath, Lord Shiva. <coughs> city of Pasupatinath, Lord Shiva. I felt something. Oh my God, I have studied Sanskrit. Did my master's degree? Is that only for making money? I realized having knowledge is good. But again, dying with knowledge is bad. Journey is infinite. Knowledge to wisdom. Knowledge to wisdom. Aparabhidya to parabhidya. Aparabhidya, making us expert, engineer, professor, doctor, manager, professional, but Parabhidya, making us Maharshi, making us Sankaracharya, making us Siddha, making us Buddha, making us Dibya. If you have only knowledge, but no wisdom, knowledge becomes a problem. And this whole world is suffering because of knowledge. Because of knowledge. Not having that true wisdom. That's why the Vedas say, Satyam Jnanam Anantam Brahma. What is that Brahma? That is Sat. That is Jnanam. That is Anantam. That is what whole Brahma. Yat Satyam. Tat Jnanam. Yat Jnanam. Tat Anantam. Yat Anantam. Tat Satyam. Yat satyam tat jnanam Yat jnanam tat anantam It's all interrelated It's all interconnected Satyam jnanam anantam Brahma Then slowly I started my journey With the school Hindu Vidya Pitt Nepal And now we have three Hindi Vidyapati schools, some ashram, some orphanage, some gurukula, some children's center, some women's center, deprived women, deprived children, community center in different parts of Nepal. And I'm very happy to say that all our institutions are blessed by Maharshi Ji. And my friend Kingsley become the instrument. Leslie become the instrument. All our teachers, all our students, they follow TM. Beautiful life. Beautiful journey. 
all our orphan children. But again, going further, around 20 organizations, slowly I realized, am I working for Nepal? Am I working for Nepal? Or I am working through Nepal? I'm working for my schools, I'm working for my ashram, working for my orphanage, for my community center, or I'm working through schools. You understand me? When I realized, no, 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 I'm not working for schools, I'm not working for orphanage, this community center. I am working through. Wow. I am not working for Nepal. I am working through. Wow. Oh my God. My friends, Vedas are not scriptures. Not only scriptures. Veda, totally way of life. Totally way of life. Veda means wisdom. Vid is the root. With Gyane. When I realized, I when I realized I'm not working for Nepal, I'm working through Nepal. Then my friend, Basudhaiva Kutumba Kama. The whole world is my family. Krinanto Vishwamaryam, let's awaken this entire world. Ano Bhadra Kartabo Yantu Vishwata, let's spread the good messages. Let's have the domes everywhere. First dome between, between Ukraine and Russia. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. They need our mercy center. Let's go. Krinanto Vis <coughs> Krinanto Vishamaryam Ano <coughs> Ano Bhadra Kartabo Yanti Vishwata Awakening this entire world, making this world. <coughs> Only Bhadra. So we need Maharshi Peace Palace. Everywhere. We need Maharshi Dome at the center of Gaza, Palestine. You see? At the capital of Russia. And again, at the same time. I know about Maharshi for last more than 40 years. But for last around 10 years, I become <coughs> very close among those regions when I came to know Maharshi family, Maharshi center is now promoting <coughs> excuse me friends excuse me Maharshi center is now promoting Gurukula in Nepal everywhere Gurukula everywhere Gurukula so let's have this Marsi centers, <coughs> Gurukula, these domes, everywhere. So my friends, I will travel around the world. I have many ashrams, many centers in Nepal. As I said, I am one of the fortunate ones. But again, at the same time, I have to say with very heavy heart, I'm working for those children. I was saying the same thing to my friends in Marsh School today, who are still struggling. If you ask them, what do you want? Children who are living in the hills, in the remote areas, in the villages, what do you want? They will not say, I want mobile. I want video game. They will say, 
I want to go to school. They will not say I want to eat that or this. <coughs> they will not name about any delicious meal as you are getting here. Either Lucy G. <coughs> they will not talk about the delicious items. They will say only food to fill up the tummy. My friends, getting blessing of Maharshi means embracing the entire world. Being with Maharshi, walking with Maharshi, dreaming with Maharshi, realizing Maharshi means accepting going further, further and further, that is in box to out box. <coughs> That's what the problem of this modern world, going further, further and further, in box to out box. Knowledge to wisdom, religion, to realization. It's a great journey. And I request you all to visit Nepal one day. If you have already signed up, <laughs> they are asking about the weather. When is better time to visit Nepal? My friends, we all have to become messenger. What I did, that's not important. But we all have to do something. We all have to do something. That's what total essence of karma yoga. And being with you all here, being with my friends of Maharshi in MIU and America, Ohio, all blessing for me. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to connect Nepali community with Maharshi family. And my friends, King Sileji, Leslie Ji, we all plan the Nepali community is increasing in England. If they could be connected with Marsi, imagine. All the education by British government, all the money, all the prosperity, all other things, achievements by England, and all the fulfillment by Marsi. Achievement without fulfillment is a serious problem. Our Nepali community needs that. Everyone needs that. Achievement with fulfillment. Professional development with spiritual development. Intellectual development with philosophical development. Art of living with art of life. A warm house, but a very, but a very reliable family. You can make your house warm. You fix the heater, central heating system. We need central heating system here. not only in the house. My mother, she is now 92. Every time I come to go, go to England, America, anywhere, I phone her, she lives in Dang. She says to, please say namaste to my friends. She has never been to England. 
She's 92. She has never been to any school. But she says, oh, you are in England. Please say hello. Please say namaste to my friends. You see, my friends. So that's what the beautiful journey. I'm very happy. It's not lecturing. It's just, it's, it's just sewing. It's just expressing my gratefulness with that master. Jai Guru Dev. Jai Guru Dev. Jai Guru Dev. I think we've probably all got quite a strong flavor there of Guruji's stitching, <coughs> stitching the world together into an exalted sense of togetherness. And uh, there may be some amongst you who have some questions for him. So I think we've got time. We've got a few minutes for some any questions or you'd like to ask him about what he's... What he's I have a mic name. here. I just wanted to say one or two things. Um, that you, when you started, you said that Maharshi was speaking and Shankaracharya was speaking and, and in this dome, in the silence. And um, it's one thing Maharshi explained to us that silence, it's the silence that speaks. And that's what we create here. And uh, when, when you were mentioning about uh, Bhutan, um, Nepal needing needing a dome, everywhere needing a dome. It's um, it's the silence that it needs, and I think that was inherent in that because it reminded me of something that uh, Dr. Golden said when he came from Armenia after the Armenian earthquake. He went to MIU and he said Armenia needs a dome, and uh, this gave rise to a big teaching project in 1980. 1981 in Armenia and um, what we created was the silence and that has the transformative power so uh, very interesting points you brought up and and at one point you mentioned your the computer and the mobile phone <laughs> very necessary in today's world and it reminded me of something Maharshi said that we all have a cosmic computer and through proper programming, it can create anything. So this is our city program that we practice here. And we would love to see more and more of that in, in Nepal. It would be such a beautiful thing. Good. Are there any questions? Yes, Nikki. How many Siddhas are there in Nepal? Yeah, but uh, but in Nepal now around 200, 200 gurukulas are supported by Maharshi. So in each gurukula they do Vedic, Rudra Vishek, and in each gurukula they have TM teacher. In each gurukula, uh, and that uh, and those gurukulas are in Nepal, almost in every parts of Nepal, but still in the Nepal is a long ship still in the western part of Nepal we have to do a lot and actually I'm from the western part of Nepal that part is still remaining but the number of gurukula increasing so teachers are increasing the students are learning so this way very good uh, very good you know possibility and opportunity and uh, and uh, I was saying to my friend Graham ji in the morning <coughs> when Maharshi ji went to Nepal 50 years ago he was so much touched because he's a Maharshi. And as you say, silence, Maharshi understands the language of silence, smile of people, heart of people. And Maharshi ji realized something different. And then Maharshi ji, one who was born in India, after going to Nepal, he said, Nepal to lead the world. It was a great message. And uh, frankly speaking, I have heard that many times. But I myself didn't realize that. But when I became a very good friend of Kingsley and Leslie Raja Kingsley, oh my God, what a great message. 
one who was born in india one who has university in america headquarter in netherland and centers all over the world and all his devotees scientists professor researchers all top class people fantastic people and he says nepal to lead the world yes it means his insight his inner level has realized something in nepal that's why nowadays i say yes if you want to save the world save the vedas if you want to save the vedas save nepal <laughs> <laughs> and that's why henry ji now november coming november there will be 50 years golden jubilee celebration of maharshi ji mm -hmm. and king sile ji and the maharshi vedic foundation nepal they have we all have organized a huge program i am here to invite you all november chalo let's go to nepal <laughs> coming <laughs> november <laughs> and uh, guru ji um, uh, just for clarification so gurukula is a, like a pundit school Yes. So, so many, several hundred now in in Nepal. Now we have two hundred. Two hundred. So it's <coughs> a, it's a good number throughout the whole country. It's a very good. Uh, very Actually, good Nepal and India, the whole history of education is only Gurukula. But after having East India Company, <coughs> colonization, I don't want to go more on that part. The Mekale education system was introduced in India. and nepal was bound to follow india did i make clear mekale lord mekale oh makale 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 yes That's right yes makale education system was introduced in india and nepal was bound to follow india nepal small country and then slowly slowly all gurukula disappeared mm -hmm. in the name of modern education everything was destroyed our culture our roots our values our philosophy so now again with the support of maharshi mission it's a great reviving history it's a great thing yeah great yeah. great contribution that is beyond any imagination and i myself a student of you know gurukula that's i'm very grateful to maharshi and that maharshi gurukula means pandita but those pandita not only for yagya even more than that mm -hmm. pandita is pandita mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you brilliant we have more questions any more questions so i think this has been a a great meeting of cultures this <laughs> evening and uh Nepali culture meeting our UK culture our British culture is kind of different <laughs> and very effective thank you so much for coming and we hope you'll come again and um we wish you all success on your journey um to re-enliven this knowledge in Nepal and uh with all the support of Roger Kingsley and Leslie Brooks and um all all the na nature behind you uh to support your your desire to create this transformation in world consciousness it's it's kind of a movement that's happening in the world so it's a beautiful thing and i think we have um a small presentation to give you before that can i end up with one prayer yes yes पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्ण पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य जस्व टू मिनट्स शिवोहम 
शिवोहम प्लीज ज्वाइन शिवोहम 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 सदा सत्स्वरूप शिवोहम शिवोहम सदा चित स्वरूप शिवोहम शिवोहम सदानंद रूप शिवोहम 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 शिवो ड्राइविंग शिवोहम शिवो शिवोहम शिवो कंप्यूटर शिवोहम शिवो शिवोहम शिवो यू आर वॉकिंग यू आर कुकिंग यू आर स्लीपिंग शिवोहम शिवो हम आई एम दैट इन्फिनिट वन आई एम दैट डिवाइन वन शिवोहम शिवो हम सिद्धो हम सिद्धो हम पूर्णो हम पूर्णो हम चैतन्य हम चैतन्य हम केवलो हम केवलो हम प्लीज डोंट क्राई If you ever cry, that time also, Shiva Ham, <laughs> Shiva Ham, Shiva Ham. While going to bed, Shiva Ham, Shiva Ham. And then, and then, and then, guarantee you will have sound sleep. साइकोलॉजिस्ट से साउंड स्लीप बट वे वैदिक पीपल वे से डिवाइन स्लीप साउंड स्लीप मीन्स स्लीपिंग विदाउट ड्रीम्स बट वे से डिवाइन स्लीप स्लीपिंग विद शिव भावा शिव हम शिव हम So um, before we make a couple of presentations, um, just to mention that leading on from the the fact that um, Guruji has been touring the UK, um, he's invited um, anyone who'd like to to go to Manchester um, at one o'clock on Sunday, when there'll be a meeting with um, a Nepalese community there. So if anyone's interested, please contact me, and I can give you some details. And that's something that's been encouraged throughout the tour. So what we'd like to do now is to just give you a short presentation to both you and Samrat. So I'm going to invite Margaret Farron to come up and and give you give you that presentation. It's a souvenir T-shirt from Hyderabad. <laughs> <laughs> it might be called to Newcastle, but um, anyway, we thought it might be quite appropriate. <laughs> and then Barry, are you coming up? So, so Guruji, we'd like to we'd like to also give you some books which have been recently published on transcendental meditation, and one of the authors is Barry Spivak, who's here. So he'll give you a little background. <laughs> so, this is a, a description of the, the 
And the author is standing next to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, Samrat has asked if we can all if we can all come onto the stage for a photograph. So if, if everyone would like to sort of like sort of crowd onto the stage, the stage is fine. We'll have it's a okay. photo. It's a big stage. Hold on, Graham, you, you stuck it out. <laughs> <laughs> He needed a figurehead up there. Come, on, come around the... Yeah, Henry, you should be here too. You just stay there. All right. Go around. Good. David, come, come here. Samrat, why don't you stand here? Why don't you come and sit here, Samrat? Here we Right, 
folks. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Evening bad gang is over. Hi, Chris. Quite unique, yes. Yes, yes. Because of his purity, he's amassed all this support, and he structured it in terms of all the schools that he started, all these organizations. He's hugely qualified. Here we are, Julian. That's that one. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Right over.